Hey everybody, the Reeswirel here, and welcome to Call of Duty, which might be surprising considering I've kind of spouted how much I hate this game series, although I really should have been more specific. I don't hate this game by any means. The game series single player campaigns are actually surprisingly well done. In the earlier versions, I'd say like the later in the series they get, the weaker they got, but they were still good. What I hate with this game series is its cancerous fucking community. That's all I really hate about the Call of Duty franchise. I'm a greenhorn, because I've never played this. And some of it might be in 4x3, like cutscenes. Oh, what's this? More long marches tomorrow than obstacles with Captain Foley, I think. And weapon training with Sergeant... Moody, oh. I, th I thought that says was that was saying something else. Everyone is dead tired. Another guy got uh, RTU returned to unit yesterday. He begged the sergeant to let him stay. I cannot read this. <laughs> My unit, the 506 Paratrooper Regiment, is an all volunteer unit. I'm lucky to serve with these guys. There's no one I'd rather be have watching my back. Uh, our officers drill us continuously. Who? <laughs> I've trained for months and I haven't even jumped out of an airplane yet. The army has never had an airborne unit before and that makes the brass nervous. And what makes the brass nervous more... Oh, what makes the brass nervous makes us train even harder. Oh, where the hell did I get trained from? Drill. That doesn't make sense though. Training would make more sense. Whatever. Objectives updated. All right, listen up, Private Martin. You're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Are you Steve Blum? Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Attack! 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 Move together as a team. Use grenades to flush out hard points. Don't make the same mistake. Always move from cover to cover. Yeah, that's actually very true. Always reload before going into battle. Good. Of course. Now check your Suppress then flank. Notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. Well, look at my objective. Oh, right, they just pop up like that. That's cool. Approach the sign indicated by the compass star. Can you shut up? I'm getting to grips with this, you douche. That's it. Open the gate to the obstacle course. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! This weapon has no alternative mode to switch to. Oh, that's what L3 does. Interesting. Barracks. Obstacle. Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry about here too, ladies. huh? Ladies, this is not your Aunt Fanny's dance. X to stand up. Oh. Jump over him. Come on, Elder, get the lead out. Yeah. Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Oh, and if we don't, we get shot by these guys. Oh, nice. Fire up those machine guns. Oh my God. Stay low. Stay down. Wouldn't doing that be incredibly dangerous, though? Oh, you just have to move towards it. Go, go, go! Drop. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. Oh, this door. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Yeah, because I won. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here. Oh, hi. In the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines. To get more ammo, grab it. From any loose weapon of the same type you were carrying. Oh, I'll just walk over it. The fence and fire oh, why is it R2? At your, target. your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. What am I doing? I'm shooting this. Like those. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. So, I guess we'd want to do it like that. Six more rounds at your target in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving and in crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. When your magazine is empty, your weapon will reload automatically. Wait, can I can I hit this? Oh, 
All right, yeah. Reload. Reloading. Boop. Oh, I got it. Nice. Ding. Oh no. Move while doing this will still work pretty well. All right, private. Move on to the yeah. next area. If you just use iron sights or aim down sights, then yeah, that'd be fine. Stop checking all weapons before exiting. I don't know where the next area is. I'm assuming this. Yeah. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. No. To the left. Move to the fence and fire two rounds at your target. Oh my god, really? I hit it? <laughs> what? While aiming down your sight. Ooh. Oh my god, seeing this like sw like um sway and stuff is pretty impressive. Well, this game was released in 2004, and I think it's one of the first games that ever introduced aim down sights. Which kind of is a staple in most shooters nowadays. Alright, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. Alright, Private, move on to the next area. Alright. Alright, Sergeant. Your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at your target, first from the hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. Three, four, five. Zoom if when you raise and aim down the sight of a weapon without a scope. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're going to move slower this way. You don't say. Because you're aiming. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Oh yeah, because I'd injure myself doing that. Which weapons, Private? Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different oh. situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Oh my god, that's how I... More rounds at your target. Oh, really? That is weird. I can like... Sw uh, not sway, it's like looking around corners. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Doing it. Pick up the frag Ooh. grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire. Oh, these openings. Behind the concrete post and lean out to the left, then the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. I still got hurt by that, really? Yeah. Oh, wait, the opening's the bloody windows. Oh, right, I am an idiot. Yeah. I still can't get that. No, like, the arc of a grenade is just something I can't do. I guess. Yeah. That was too fuck high. So, uh, there? There's one. I ran out of grenades. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. There's one here. So, into each window and door. Ah, uh, that one I did need to be higher because it's further back. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> to be honest, grenades are never something I was ever accurate with. It was just something I would. There we go. Ah, uh, whoosh! I'm just, I've, I've never been good at getting accurate throws with grenades. Alright, Private. Move on to the next area. Blah, 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 blah. You can actually switch your guns pretty damn quick. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Hmm, fun. Who the hell would not use a medkit though? Pick like that's up, just partner. silly. Oh man. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Then run like fuck. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole! Fucking hell. Jesus. Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Dismissed. 
We did it. Oh, there you go. There will one day... Wait, what? Camp Tokoa. There will one day spring from the brain of science a machine or far so fearful in its potentialities, so absolutely terrifying that even man the fighter, who will dare torture and death in order to inflict torture and death, will be appalled and so abandon war forever. Thomas A. Edison. That just, I don't know, it just seemed weird to begin with. Like, reading it, it just didn't make sense to me. Airborne. Loading. Although, in fairness, my videos will just be called Call of Duty. I won't call it Call of Duty Classic, because the classic thing is literally just for um, Xbox Live Arcade and uh, PS3. So it, there's, there's no bearing on it. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H hour D Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here <coughs> provides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. Jeez. We're landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. <sighs> All right. Whoa. Okay. In about three hours, I will be in Normandy. As one of the Pathfinders for my unit, I'll be landing ahead of the main airborne force. The Pathfinders land before the main force and place beacons in the landing fields. To guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers, the brass are sending the airborne in first. In the early hours of the mornings, at morning to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. At first light, the main force of the invasion will hit the beaches. For weeks, the entire invasion force, more than 175,000 men, has been cooped up and forbidden contact with anyone outside, with nothing to do but memorize maps and battle plans. We're all quite eager to be in France. Um, a few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid us a visit. If we pull... If we pull all this off, the Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Nice. Outskirts of saint Mare Eglise. Holy crap. Oh. There's a German. Wink up with Sergeant Heath. What is that? We have a shit ton of ammo. What? Oh, I'm not crouched. Oh, whatever. I don't think I can jump over the wall anyway. The jumps have kind of piss poor. Oh, that's how I switch fire modes. Like this, I can switch. Single shot. Oh. Yeah, I'm silly. And we have the regular pistol. Occult 4 to 5. And they also have... Oh, they have a car 98k. That's basically their M1A1 carbine, I think. 
it's like their equivalent. Oh, how nice. Wait. Oh, that's the radio. That looks so weird. Oh my god, look at these door textures. You never need to try to open closed doors. Oh, thanks. That's just as if to say the pathway is always available to you. Which it most likely is. I look probably very obvious at the moment. Oh, oh dear. Somebody hit a tree. Please don't say they're dead. They aren't dead, are they? They look dead. I think they could be dead. Oh, get the sergeant's leg bag. Yeah, he definitely died. Oh wait. Alright, set up the radio beacon. Oh my god, I can just hear them. 